A very shy girl with long, pretty hair is wandering the bustling lunchtime hallways, her fist pressed into her collarbone. When she finds the literature club president's room, she stands at the door, glancing all around her before peering inside. Monica is sitting and chatting with a group of unknown friends. Yeah, as expected, this was a bad idea after all. Suddenly, Monica glances towards the door, making the girl panic and duck out of sight. Before she can regain composure and decide for sure to leave, the classroom door gently opens. Yuri? What a surprise to see you during lunch. Yuri squeaks in response. Yee! Please help me. What, is everything okay? Yuri shakes her head. I don't know how to write letters. <laughs> Thank goodness. I thought there was some kind of emergency. Maka briefly glances over her shoulders at her other friends. Do you want some help? We can go find an empty classroom or something. Is that okay? I feel bad for taking you away from your friends. It's totally fine, I promise. We weren't really doing anything. One sec. Monica trots back into her classroom, say something like, I gotta go to her friends and then grabs a pen off her desk before returning to Yuri. Okay, let's find somewhere We're quiet. quiet. Yuri nods and follows Monica as the two of them set off. How are you today? Huh? Me? Well, yes. <laughs> oh gosh, sorry. I was just caught off guard. I'm doing well today. Just tired. I never seem to get enough sleep during the week. How come? Oh, I don't know. I think I'm just easy distracted. I get really sucked into things and start neglecting time. Me too. I do that too. <laughs> hey, this classroom is empty. Let's go in here. After putting inside, Monica opens a classroom door and the two of them enter. Oh man, this scene. Ah, it's the first scene of the school in the original game, man. Yuri's moment of relaxation ends. She watches Monica pull two chairs up from the same desk, then obeys as Monica beckons her to take a seat. She stares down an empty desk. You nervous? I don't want to do this. We don't. We don't have to. We can come up with something else. Yuri shakes her head. It's my chance to do something good. I need to take initiative. Gosh, you must be really determined. I know how hard it is for you to step out of your comfort zone. I'll be sure to encourage you. Yuri pushes through her anxiety and grabs a handful of lined paper from her notebook. Then she picks up her pen. Ah, look at this scene. I like how Monica has her, like, stereotypical pen as well. The classroom kind of looks like, well, I know it's meant to be a different classroom, but it's different design. Hey, you're left-handed. That's me. Uh, yeah. Now I don't have to worry about bumping into your arm. Monica playfully rubs her shoulder against Yuri's. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just being silly, I guess. Anyway, how about we start by listing the different things you want to say to her? Um, Yuri thinks. I feel embarrassed all of a sudden. Oh, it's okay. How about some of the things you said to me yesterday? But, never mind. I guess I'll try. Yuri thinks for a moment longer, her tension evident. Then she writes the word reflection. This is about my reflection on our behaviour. The key question is why we act like this towards each other, but have been able to separately be friends with Sayori and Monica. That's me. Yes, it is. So, Yuri thinks. I've been able to befriend the two of you because you've taken the time to understand my needs and respect my interests. Hmm. The same goes for Natsuki, too. We started off as pretty hostile to each other because I was so worried about getting what I wanted, but she just wanted to be respected more than anything else. Once I stopped making it all about me, she was able to do the same thing. I want to do that, too. So what kind of things do you want to do for her? I want I want to do the same things for her that I'd like to receive. I like it when people respond positively to the things I talk about and not just brush me off. I like it when my feelings are taken seriously. And I like when you and Sayori trust that I want to be a good person even when I'm not doing a good job at it. Let's write those things down. Okay, you're write some things down. I think the most important thing to remember here is that Natsuki is feeling vulnerable. So we should make sure that the letter puts her first. It's hard when you're feeling hurt, but it never helps to just tell someone all the things that they're doing wrong. I think first you have to make sure that they don't, that they know you're ready to respect them and listen to them and admit the things that you feel you could do better. Then finally, you ask what you would like in return. How does that sound for the structure? It could be three paragraphs, one for each of those points. I like it. My thoughts were so disorganized. I had no idea how to come up with any kind of structure. You're so amazing at these things. Oh, stop. You've done so much more than I have, you know? you spent so much time reflecting and being open-minded. That's the hardest thing for anyone to do. All I'm doing is helping you put it on a piece of paper. So I think you're the amazing one. Um, Monica gives Yuri's hand a quick squeeze. But as she lets go, she's caught by surprise as Yuri curls her fingers to hook Monica's hand in place. For a while, they sat like that in silence, save for the occasional scratching of Yuri's pen against the paper. Yesterday, you told me something that I'm thinking about a lot. Well, what was that? 
the thing about how feelings aren't right or wrong and that they're just a state of being we need to come to terms with. It made me think about how a person's behaviour isn't always just how they decide to be. It's also made up of their past experiences and their insecurities. I think that helps me see other people as actual people rather than as insignificant side characters who are out to get me somehow. Is that how you feel about Natsuki? Yuri nods. But in reality, everyone is always trying their best and everyone wants to be happy. Mike appears over at Yuri's paper but to her surprise Yuri pulls it closer partially covering it with her arm. <laughs> I have to be able to read it out to help you, you know? It's okay. My thoughts are a lot more organised now after being able to talk to you about it. Now that I'm actually putting it on paper, I realise I prefer others not to read it. Yuri laughs softly to herself, a rare expression. I'm kind of glad to hear that actually. I somehow keep finding ways to butt into this whole thing. I've done enough damage. <laughs> but it's also been so wonderful talking about this. I mean, I always thought you were really smart, but... Yuri smiles. I will always be terrible at these things. People are just so incomprehensible to me. I'll never get the hang of being one. <laughs> but listening to you so much has really helped me make sense of some things. So just don't call it damage, please. Maka gives Yuri a gentle smile. I can't believe I came to this club looking for fantasy geeks and all I got was real friends who value me. Is that a joke? Of course it is. <laughs> I still can't tell with you. Sorry. No, I love it. Please never change. As you wish. Yuri glances at the clock. We're almost out of time. Will he be able to finish? Before for the end of the day, probably. But I don't want to come to the club the same day that Natsuki reads it. I'm too shy. I can give it to her instead if you'd like. Yuri nods. As long as you promise not to read it. Of course, I promise. Thank you. Yuri exhales and the two stand up. I'll message you when it's ready. Monica nods. Good luck. I'm here if you need me. Yuri returns a nod and the two depart. Oh sh that's it. Man, okay, I knew it because like the t it's nearly an hour into the recording. It usually doesn't even take this long to get through them stories. Sorry, where is that picture? Oh, I love new one. Um, no, where is it? Where, where there we go. Thank you. So I think I'll stop here for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, obviously like it. Comment on your thoughts on DDLC so far. Uh, subscribe if you want and hit the bell if you do so desire. And I hope to see you guys in the next few episodes of DDLC+. We're getting near to the end, so it'll be over before we know it. Mm -hmm.